The EU just voted on a ban on plastic products. In particular, this is about one-way plastic products like straws and cups. And while well, uh, the ban will take place from 2021 on, and while I think it is in general a good sign, I am a bit pessimistic about the real consequences of it. So on the one hand, this does not really concern all the other plastic we have that, for instance, uh, wraps up our uh, lifestyle products. And it doesn't really make up the majority of the 150 tons of plastic that swims on the oceans and gets in the bodies of fish where we eat it then and get cancer from it. And while the replacement products might be easy, easier composable, I don't think they will, their production will be easier on the environment. So a fascinating statistic I have heard about recently is that um, the um, stuff shit. stuff that material uh, uh, that plastic bags made of fabric are about 125 times harder to produce than, or harder on the environment to produce, I should say, than plastic bags. And while they are easier, com um, easier composable, when you crunch the numbers, you get that you have to reuse a fabric bag about 25 times until it is as environmentally uh, green, let's say, as a plastic bag that you use one time. Now, composable plastics might be one possible solution. Some of these, uh, some of these um, ideas exist already, but the truth is that those are also still far from being environmentally safe. So they still decompose very badly. They compose only in very specific circumstances and they often don't compose completely. And they are still pretty heavy on the environment. And I think the truth is that nobody really wants to talk about that we have to reduce consumption either that or we have to make really big advances in our research and find real alternatives to the current the plastics current in, currently in use but it has to be one of those two things and i don't see the effort put into research right now that would make um, this possible to have such advances in a short time period. And of course, reducing consumption is always something nobody really wants to hear. But I think the truth is just that our level of existence is too much for the planet to handle. And I don't really think it is necessary, to be honest. I don't think it is necessary to throw away your bags after even 25 uses. You can use them 300 times. You can use them until they, are, they have holes and then you can stitch up the holes. I mean, those are all things that were evident uh, in earlier times. And I don't think that we have to keep up this level of consumption that we have right now, which I think is quite insane. And instead we can start um, repairing the things we already have uh, instead of continuously replacing them and stop having all these unnecessary wrappings around all our products 
which are often of materials that also are very hard on the environment to produce and are often not easily composable. Yeah, so I think that's the truth that we have, we just have to that do all these insane things that are so um, commonplace right now that they just seem normal while in reality they are far from normal if you ask for instance your grandparents um, a lot of them will tell you about how in earlier times there weren't really all that much wrappings around anything and you just bought a product and took it home in a normal bag that you reused so I don't think that is too hard, too much to ask from someone to just buy products instead of buy products in like a parcel and then make uh, take it out of the parcel and cut some foil and then have a smaller parcel and some more foil and then you have some smaller parcels which are in those and and so on and so forth you get the point and yeah i think we have to go back to that it's as simple as that